Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mogi Beth, and for those of y'all who are new here, I own a six-figure reselling business selling primarily women's clothing on places like Poshmark and eBay. And today, we are back at the Goodwill bins. Yay! It feels so good. It's been like over a week and a half, which doesn't sound like that long, but man, to me, it feels like a long time. <laughs> I've been selling things that I've been sourcing at the bins, and I've been watching a lot of bins videos on YouTube, so it's just making me really want to go back find more stuff today it is 4 30 and they close at 7 so we only have about two hours really because they really kind of close at 6 45 <laughs> like make you get in line around then hopefully we can find 25 pounds in that amount of time because in portland under 25 pounds you pay two dollars and 19 cents per pound and over 25 pounds you pay one dollar and 29 cents per pound so it's a pretty big difference a 90 cent difference and hopefully we find some good stuff. So I'm gonna bring you in with me. We're gonna dig around and then I will do a haul of everything that I found. Yeah, so this is the Goodwill Outlet, Goodwill Bins. If you've never heard of it, Google Goodwill Outlet in your area and see if you have one because it is a crazy experience. Big boob bins, you just dig through it and then you pay by the pound, so. All right, I fueled up on a green juice and I saw you bowl earlier, so I'm ready. To go. All right, let's head on in. All right, well, sometimes when I'm filming these, I will hit a bin where I just find a ton of good stuff and I try to turn my camera on when that happens. But this bins trip was just one of those where I found like maybe one piece per bin. <laughs> so it was hard to decide when to film. So you're gonna see a lot of things that I passed on, but um, you know, sometimes that's helpful too. There were actually quite a good amount of shoe bins out on this day, which is pretty rare these days for us. So I was excited to go through it, but it had been quite picked over. Um, but I did actually end up scoring a pair of shoes, which I don't think I've scored a pair of shoes in a minute. So that was good. Yeah, here you see there are, you know, more shoe bins. I did find like a bunch of single shoes, which is so frustrating, right? Um, I found this brand new pair of Ugg uh, uh, sneakers that I wanted to pick up but there was only one of them and Goodwill had the price to like $29.99 so I did end up picking these which I will show you in the haul they had a little bit of dust on them which I was able to just easily brush off and they were in excellent condition so I'm excited to get those listed I need to look those up and get them listed ASAP but the, that's really the only pair of shoes that I found went through a bunch of these and a lot of them are just you know really low retail shoes, fast fashion shoes. Um, I found this Steve Madden purse, but it was missing the strap. I was really hoping to get, you know, some more accessories, but I wasn't able to do so this time around. I found these Gap maternity pants that I did end up hanging up, and I'll talk more about what I plan to do with them in the haul. Um, and then in this bin, I just kind of want to show you some things that I was passing on. So Gap, I pass on. St. John's Bay, I pass on. And for new resellers, a pro tip, St. John's Bay and St. John, very different brands. St. John retails for like thousands, hundreds of dollars. St. John's Bay, you're going to want to pass on. That Columbia jacket was pretty substantial one, but it was old and written in. Forever 21, new with tag. It's hard to pass on anything new with tag at the bins because it's never been worn. But... Forever 21 I passed. This is a newer cabbie blazer. Uh, I just didn't like the style so I did pass on it but as you see here I or in a second I actually did find another cabbie newer tag piece that I did end up picking up for the Mogi box because I thought it was super cute and I'll show you that piece in the haul. Uh, that was an older Banana Republic piece I passed on. This Indochino. Indochino is a brand that makes custom men's pieces and the problem with it is that um, because it's custom it doesn't have a size and so it is quite expensive but I tend not to pick it up because of that. It's a little bit harder to sell. So but could have been a good 
pick up if I wanted to risk it. This is a Pearl Izumi, which is a brand I did end up looking up. I think it's a biking brand, but it was a really older piece, and so I decided to pass on it. Oh my gosh, okay, well that went by so, so fast. I actually ended up getting 22 and a half pounds, but then the cashier just let me <laughs> kind of put something in there to get to 25. And so I got the discounted rate. I spent thirty two seventy seven. You can see that. Honestly, I got a lot of bread and butter items. So I'm kind of excited to go through it because I really didn't have time to go through it all. I'm excited to go through it with you and see what I got and then kind of evaluate from there. I didn't find any like massive bolo brands or anything like no patagonia or designer but some good stuff all around so all right i am going to get some dinner and then i'll meet you at the hall all right it is time for the hall i spent 30 dollars and 77 cents i got actually like 22 pounds like i said but i was able to get that one dollar and 29 cent rate because we basically just put like the hand sanitizer in there and it got me just to 25 pounds, 25.4 pounds. So, all right, let's jump into it. And then at the end, I'll tell you what my average cost of goods is. God, I really can't even remember what I picked up. So I'm just as curious as you are. <laughs> okay, this t-shirt I picked up to keep. Maybe I could take it to Crossroads, but I don't think so. I'm getting more and more pregnant. I am 26 weeks as of yesterday. And so none of my clothes fit. <laughs> So this is like a little Columbia t-shirt. It just says Pacific Northwest on it, but I think it's a men's extra large. So, oh, it's got a stain on it and everything. So uh, it's just a sleep shirt. Okay, I got a lot of stuff for Mogi Box. And if y'all are unfamiliar with Mogi Box, I'll have a link in the description down below. But when I can, I do box drops, which is just drops of boxes of usually like seven to nine items priced at $4 a piece plus shipping and it's kind of items that should sell between, you know, a 15 to $35 range. And so, yeah, this is one of them. It's Cabby. I think maybe y'all saw me find this. Uh, it was at Goodwill for $7.99. It's really cute. It's this like dolman sleeve, short sleeve sweater that's ribbed, oversized, boxy fit, high low hem, really cute. And it's the newer Cabby tag. I never pick up the older Cabby tag but I think the newer cabbie tag will sometimes still sell. So in my recent bread and butter shoe brand video, I actually talked about this brand. And so when I came across these in excellent condition, I decided, hey, let's pick them up because as we said in that video, I wanna sell this brand more. So this is Franco Sardo. It's actually Sardo by Franco Sardo. And this is the brand that I see most often at Anthropology. And these are really cute. They are a velvet upper loafer with this beading detail on the strap here and they are a size eight and a half which is a great size it's the johanna johanna loafer which i'll have to look up but because they're at the bins decided to get them without looking them up and they're just in really good condition so we'll see how they do we'll see if they were sold to anthropology maybe maybe not but i'm definitely gonna be selling those okay these are interesting i actually might look these up and see if i wanted to sell them I think they're men's. I'm not entirely sure. If not, I will give them to my friends who specialize in selling jeans and pants. I sell them jeans and pants that I find in the bins for $4 a piece. These are American Eagle, and they are these cargo skinny jeans. The size is 18 long. For some reason, that's not computing. <laughs> I don't know what that means. So I'm thinking it's a men's size. But yeah, they're in excellent condition, so I was happy to find those. This I actually, I should have paid the book price for, but I completely forgot it was in my cart, but it's a really cute book. The ABCs to love, so I just kind of paid by the pound for this. But it's like A is for always, I always love you more. B is for butterfly kisses, it's you that I adore. Anyway, I just read this really uh, good book called Crib Sheet that my friend Emily recommended. And it was talking about the importance of reading to your child, which of course I knew, but it really kind of emphasized it. So now I'm gonna start definitely picking up good quality kids books that I find. This only retailed for $8.99, so it wasn't too expensive, but I thought it was cute enough to pick up. Okay, y'all know this is a kids brand. They do have women's clothing. I actually did find one women's piece uh, that I love picking up. 
and I'm picking it up for my daughter, but I also have this idea of selling lots of Hannah Anderson. Yeah, that's the brand, Hannah Anderson. Uh, the designer, it's based in Portland, which is cool, but the designer is actually Swedish, so that's why the sizing is Swedish. I think it's based in Portland, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this, is, this is a US 5. Um, just a little t-shirt, cute, red and blue stripe. The only problem with kids clothes is sometimes, of course, they are just really not in great condition because, you know, kids will be kids. So, but that one's actually in great condition, so I was happy to pick it up. This is Eileen Fisher. I love selling Eileen Fisher. Oh, it looks like there's holes there, but that's just some lint. <laughs> this is, I think it's a, either a tunic, sweater tunic or a sweater dress. I, eh, it's probably a dress, actually. And let's see the material content. This was a really good find and I think it should sell pretty well. 100% merino wool. So yeah, I was really, really stoked to find this. This will probably pay for the entire haul. I love selling Eileen Fisher still. And it tends to do really well for me on eBay. So yeah, I will be selling that one. This I picked up for the Moogie Box. It is Chico's, size one. This seems like a really new style. Um, and it's also got, you know, this part of the price tag attached. Goodwill wanted $12.99 for it. But it's a really cute jacket. I think this could definitely sell for $25. And it's in this kind of marl jacquard fabric. Um, and then it's got faux leather trim along the bottom here. In excellent condition. So I thought that was a good find. I was really excited about this and actually so confused why no one had picked it up. Um, but I'll definitely be selling this. This is Torrid. And I believe it's a faux leather jacket. Okay, let me, I'm fairly certain it's faux leather, but let's just double check. Body, non-leather material. <laughs> and Torrid actually puts the cut date in all their clothes, which is cool. And it's from 2019, so it's pretty recent. It does have a little bit of pilling on the inside that I'm gonna have to take a sweater shave or two, but is in excellent, excellent condition otherwise. I was really excited to find that, like a nice, plus size faux leather moto jacket should do pretty well. So I'm very excited. Um, I found a pair of Nike golf shorts, new with tag at the bins a couple weeks ago. And I just listed it this past week and it sold the same day that I listed it. So I was like, okay, well maybe, maybe I should be picking this up more. So this is not new with tag, but I thought I would go ahead and try it out. It's Nike Golf, size medium. And yeah, that's the other thing is these are matte size. So, oh no, I see a flaw. Well, I might be giving them to Matt because they have a snag on the front there. So they don't retail for a lot. They don't even resell for a ton. I would probably like expect 20 to 25. So if they have kind of a major flaw like that, here, let's see if you can see it. It's right there. It makes me less inclined to want to sell it. So I'll see if Matt wants it, but if not, I'll go ahead and sell it. Okay, so <laughs> this was like perfect timing. Motif Medical Pregnancy Support Band. Sure, I I'll take it. I've heard from people in my DMs that these come in handy. So we'll see if I can make this work. I'm trying to figure out if it's like, I think it's reusable. What size is this one? Medium, which is good. That'll fit me. So how perfect is that? I'm getting to that point. Okay, so these I am fairly certain I'm giving to my friends who specialize in pants. They're Hollister men's jeans, excellent condition. Patch pocket, they're called the Slim Straight Hollister Epic Flex. That should do well. Okay, this I was so excited to find. I think I'm going to resell it myself, but if not, I can take it to consignment. But this is a little Vineyard Vines kids vest that's reversible, it's really cute. Uh, you take this tag out and it's a Sherpa on the inside, but you can reverse it. And the zipper is actually designed to be reversible. And it's new with tag and it retailed for $118. So it's a size small. Yeah, it's called the Reversible Sherpa Shep Vest. So I'm guessing that's, I don't know, in the color moonshine. So super, super cute. I'm, I'm probably just gonna sell this. I don't think I'll keep it, but I need to check comps because I did not do that. Okay, these though, I am kind of collecting a pile of stuff and I document everything in terms of my consignment, in terms of what I have, what I've spent. 
and then when I've taken it in. And some of y'all have asked me like how often I go to consignment and I kind of just wait until I have a, I hit a certain threshold in which I have enough stuff where it's worth my time to go there. I haven't gone in a while, but there is a maternity consignment store pretty close to my house. It's actually right next to this breakfast restaurant that I love to go to, so it's kind of convenient. So I decided to start picking up some maternity stuff to take to them, even if it's not for me. So this is Gap Maternity. I'll be interested to see if they take it. These are just some green pants in good condition. It seemed like they were taking like, you know, all kinds of brands. So we will see. It will be an experiment like consignment always is. And that's why, you know, situations like Mogi Box or my friends who buy from me directly, it's more consistent. I get less than I would at consignment, but I can reliably just know where those things are going and it's not an experiment. I know I'm going to get $4 from my friends and then I think I said $4 earlier for the Mogi Box, but I think it's at $3 currently. $3 to $4 for Mogi Box. And those details are in the email every time I do a drop. And, it, and if you fill that form out below, you'll be on the email list. But anyway, that's why. I make less, but it's more reliable and consistent. So, okay, let's move on. The next is a pair of Levi's. These are made and crafted, which is their more premium line. Goodwill wanted $12.99 for these. These are really small, but actually they're size 24. I uh, listed a pair of Levi's wedgie size 23 that I found at the bins and they sold the next day recently. So small sizes in Levi's I think still do really well. So yeah, these are some high rise, really skinny, you know, black jeans. So I'm excited. They're called the 721 high rise skinny, but they're the Levi's made and crafted version. Okay, so the next is for Mogi Box. It is a pair of loft jeans. They're size eight or 29, and they've got this cute button front. It's kind of like a sailor style button front. They're a pair of skinny black jeans, really excellent condition, and hopefully we'll do well. Uh, the next two are for my friends. Actually, I probably have three in here. I'm not sure who buy the pants from me. This is Prana, a pair of pants, black pants. Goodwill wanted $12.99 again for these. And uh, I'll pick them up. Size six. And then, so they have a list of brands that they gave me that they accept. So Prana's on there, Fabletics is on there. So I got a pair of Fabletics leggings. They have zippers at the ankles, so something a little cute. I am gonna have to wash them, but that should come out no problem. Okay, this is from Bogey Box, and it is American Eagle. I think this might be a men's. Uh, it's a size extra, extra large, and it's this really cute flannel button up. I love American Eagle because they tell me the date as well because I really try to stick with newer pieces, and this is from 2020, so September 2020, so pretty new. These I think I'm gonna sell myself. They are men's, seven for all mankind jeans, and if not, I actually don't know if they accept this brand, but I could give it to my friends if they do. I need to check. They're size 34. Yeah, I they have a style number in there, but it just says standard. And I have been enjoying dabbling in men's, so I think, you know, if I can get good quality men's pieces, that's always good. Okay, like I said, I did pick up a women's piece of Hannah Anderson, so this is a Hannah Anderson size large top. It's really cute. I need to look up comps on this. It, Goodwill wanted $9.99 for it, for like a top, but it's in excellent condition. So, and I bet there's like a matching little kids version of this. That would be cute for photo ops and stuff. So this would be for the mamas. You need to look up comps. I got a pair of Madewell jeans and someone was pregnant. <laughs> I think this is like a common way to like extend the life of your jeans while you're pregnant or maybe if you've gained weight too uh, just put a hair tie and then you don't have to button it but I couldn't believe no one picked these up they're 25 petite they're from fall 2018 but they're in excellent condition some of the distressing has fallen out there but um, otherwise really really good condition so I was excited to find those I picked up <laughs> a box of pens <laughs> that were brand new pens 
that were there. You know, these aren't the best kind of pins in the world, but I didn't have a pin in my car the other day. And so when I came across these, I was like, I'll just stick these in my car and that way I won't run out of pins. So always don't have them when you need them. So when you come across them for really cheap at the bins, you pick them up. Okay, these are also, this is also for Mogi Box. This is Chico's Fabulously Slimming. Goodwill wanted $9.99 for these. And they are actually really great condition. Like they kind of have that feeling of never having been worn, but a dark wash, seemingly high rise. And Chico's does have the style number within the tag, so it's really easy to look up. Oh, this is for me. This is my other purchase for myself. I thought this was cute and it is very big for me. Life is good, extra, extra large, vintage edition. And it says, be the person your dog thinks you are, <laughs> which I thought was cute. But yeah, I just really am craving like just really big oversized t-shirts right now. So that's perfect, especially since it's long sleeve. All right, we're nearing the end. I also picked <laughs> this up for myself. It's like a little, I don't know, razor from a hotel with some shaving cream just to travel with because I actually just traveled and ran into that problem where I didn't have a razor to bring so <laughs> just always picking random stuff up at the bins so I actually only have two more pieces the first is Toad & Co which I've heard from y'all a lot of you still enjoy selling so I decided to go ahead and pick it up for Mogi Box uh, this is a cute striped t-shirt dress that could do really well. And this brand used to be called Horny Toad. Um, so the Toad & Co is the newer name for it. Let's see, it's from spring 2017. So it's not the newest, but it's called the Marley Dress. Should be easy to find, should be easy to list. So yeah, going in a movie box. And then last is a pair. Oh, I guess actually, <laughs> I also picked up some of these because I don't have any and uh, they're brand new, so why not? Uh, what are, I don't even know what those are called, clips. Last thing I picked up was a pair of Lululemon. I think I'm going to put these in a movie box or I'll sell them myself. They actually do have the rip tag still. They are size four and they're just kind of these wide leg crop pants. Definitely an older style, but they do have a little zipper on the back. They're not quite as bright blue as the camera's making them look. They're kind of like more of a purpley blue. They have the drawstrings on the outside, but then they have these drawstring holes on the inside as well that are missing drawstrings if they were there. But yeah, in good condition otherwise. So, oh, actually I'm just not seeing a stain. Oof, that one looks like it might be hard to get out. So I might just mark this as loss and move on, but I'll wash it and see if that can come out. But yeah, that is everything. So I'm going to tally up everything that I found and then figure out my average cost of goods, report back to you and close out this haul. Okay, so I got 29 pieces in total, which is not too bad. So $32.77 divided by 29 is $1.13. So not too bad. It's always best when I can get under a dollar, but around a dollar is still really great. And especially since I paid like, you know, the elevated three, pounds or whatever that I didn't actually get. So very, very happy with that. I think my favorite piece, I really like that Vineyard Vines vest. I'm, I'm really, I'm right after this, I'm gonna check comps on it. And I'm really curious as to what it's going for. I don't sell a lot of Vineyard Vines, but that little kid's new tag jacket, so cute. And the Torrid coat, I'm definitely leather, faux leather coat. I'm definitely gonna check comps on that right now as well. But let me know in the comments down below what your favorite piece was. If you're interested in selling to my friends who buy pants and you live in the Pacific Northwest, you can DM me and I'll give you their information. Um, and if you're interested in Mogi Box, again, the description is down uh, below. I'm being more infrequent when I drop those boxes just because, you know, life is crazy with the pregnancy and everything, but I do try to drop them as often as I can. But yeah, let me know what your favorite item was. I'm always really curious to hear what y'all like within the hauls that I do. Uh, but give this video a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. I'm already <laughs> wanting to go back to the bins. So I will be creating another bins video soon. And yeah, I will see y'all in the next one. Love y'all. Bye.